Right. Okay. Um, in this video, I'm going to show how to put a pre designed quilt uh, that I designed in IQ, how to stitch it out on a less than perfect quilt. Here on the screen, I've got my uh, design all placed, most of it anyway. I just did half of the quilt blocks because the second half is is the same, just reverse. So I'm just using these um, these blocks. Okay, I've called up the quilt design. Now it's asking me to touch a reference point on the screen so that um, I, I can line up IQ and it knows where it is. So I'm going to zoom in. Now this top row is the one I'm going to be stitching. So it doesn't really matter where I touch, but I'm going to touch um, this corner of the block. Touch continue. Now I've got to move my machine to that corner of the block. Just This is just aligning IQ. Okay, so now IQ knows where it is. And there's the picture of the uh, half the quilt. Um, okay, now on my screen these blocks are 12 inches perfect. On my quilt, although I stitched them 12 inches, of course they're not 12 inches, they're a little less. So I'm going to have to do some editing of these patterns to make them fit the quilt and make sure that um, it looks good. So what the first thing I'm going to do is edit the blocks. So I'm touching add edit block. I'm going to add a block and I'm going to do uh, this middle one simply because it's easy for the uh, for the um, camera to see. Uh, I'm going to mark on quilt. Okay, now I'm moving my machine to the, the center block, one of the corners, got the needle over the corner, touching OK, to the next corner, touch OK, to the next corner, OK, next corner, touch OK, close block. And now on the screen you can see the red line is the block I just marked and the black is the original on my perfect drawing. So I'm going to delete the perfect one because I want that pattern to, to stitch out on the one on my machine, not the one on my table, not the perfect one. So I finished. I'm going to delete a block. Now I have to zoom way in. It's this one here. And I'm going to put, so that I know which one to delete, I'm going to put my needle over one of the, let's do it on this corner, uh, one of the corners. And I can see my needle, the position of my needle, because it's those green crosshairs. So I'm putting the needle over that corner, and I'm looking to see, okay, the green crosshair goes there, the green crosshair comes here. So that's the block I want to delete. Let me zoom in a little bit more, so it's easy to see. Okay, that's the new one. Zoom off. Now I'm going to touch this one. I'll touch the corner. Turn red. That's the one I'm going to delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to um, not do any more blocks. I'm going to touch finished. Now I'm going to edit the pattern on that block. So it says, it's giving me the choices here. I'm going to modify a pattern. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to modify this pattern. Continue. I set it originally in my design and the perfect 12 inch block. And now with my piecing, which was not perfect, the pattern sticks over the edge a little bit. So I need to change the width of that pattern. So I'm touching the width button and then just the minus until I see it's touching the edge. Okay, but there's too much gap here, so I need to move that pattern. So I'm going to touch move, and I'm going to move it so the center snaps to the center of the block. And now I'm going to look and see. That looks, that looks okay to me. There's a little gap all the way around, which is good. Now I've moved that pattern. Now I need to move this center pattern because that's not centered anymore. So I'm going to touch select, touch this pattern, 
that's the one I'm going to move and again I'm just going to snap it to the center point of the block and I'm not going to change the shape of that one that's going to stay the same so now I've corrected the pattern to fit, to fit my quilt I'm just going to do the one but I would do every single block on this row I uh, move across mark on quilt the new block delete the old one adjust the pattern just like that and that's how you get a pre-designed quilt onto your piecing now I'm going to stitch this one out um, so you can see that so I finished I finished here again if I was doing the whole row I would set up the whole row and have IQ quilt the whole row at the same time but I'll just do this one block for you to see finished I don't want to do anything else finished I'm going to sew quilt select the first pattern to quilt again I'm going to zoom in I have to touch zoom off. I'm going to stitch this pattern. Um, I'm not going to select the other one because I want to change my thread color to that. On this quilt I'm stitching that wreath in a pale blue. This outside is in white and the, and the inside one is in pale blue so I'm just going to stitch this pattern here. Uh, so quilt. My cue's moving to the stunting point. my speed set where I want it to be. Continue. Speeds here are good. Start. That's pausing it because it's too slow. I'm going faster. The speed dial was set where I wanted and it wasn't. But we'll go again. Okay, start. But smaller stitch length. The needle's going up and down faster so I'm getting the smaller stitch length. So that's how you translate a pre-designed quilt onto the real thing, um, basically. Yeah, that's it. I set up the stitching sequence of all the other blocks, and I just wanted to show this one additional thing that I like to do. I've just finished stitching this block, and now IQ is going to move across, because I've already done that one, to this block. And there's one extra step I like to do, I just, especially because this pattern stitches out close to the edge of the block. I just want to realign IQ in between. So here it's stop stitching, so it says cut the threads to touch and touch start. Now if I did that, IQ would just move over there and start stitching. I want to check that it's going to stitch in the right place, so I'm going to touch the back button and then realign. And now it says touch a reference point on the screen. Well, all I can see is the block I have just stitched. And I want to be able to see the next block that I'm going to stitch. So I'm going to touch zoom, pan, and I'm panning the picture. This is the next one it's going to stitch. It's colored green, so I know that's the next one. I have to turn the zoom off. Now I'm going to touch this bottom corner of the block. Continue. And now I'm going to move the machine over to that bottom corner. Touch OK, and now I know IQ will stitch that pattern exactly where I want it to be. Again, if I had just let IQ run straight across and do this, it may not have been absolutely perfectly set in the block, and uh, I want this quilt to be perfect. <laughs> so that's just something extra. Here it goes again.